I know that doing art sometimes can be difficult but we all go through it at some point so to help you get into your art flow get you past any of the blocks that are maybe you know in your way at the moment I've broken down one of my recent junk journal pages into five prompts and this is all about helping you get into your flow so remember that you don't have to do the same as me in the prompts at all they're just there to help you get through your page stop you from overthinking hopefully and I would strongly encourage you to use them any way you want to experiment with them and just let them flow you through your page today so let's get arting so we're going to start a little differently today and before you set off this time on your art flow just have a few minutes a little bit of time to pick a few colors to work with a color combo that you want to try out and for me I've picked an ice cream sorbet kind of color combo or at least that's what <laughs> this color this color combo is making me think of so you can be strict with yourself and pick a certain number of colors and stick totally to that all the way through or you could just pick a feeling or a color combo idea to help kick you off like winter or forest so either way if you wanted to be more strict with it and go I'm going to use yellow green red <laughs> or if you wanted to be a bit more open with it and say I'm going to go for winter but just take a few minutes before you start to just have a think about it use it as an intention before you're starting to put color onto your paper or pen or pencil whatever you're using on your paper but remember this is about flow so don't overthink it <laughs> just go with whatever sort of pulled at your heartstrings as soon as that first prompt came up oh now this one has a lot of different ideas it's very open and i hope it sparks some different ones off for you I'm going to use my different colour palette to fill the page just with colour and I'm also going to let the brush I use dictate the shapes of the colours and how they go onto this page so I start off with a flat brush then I swap on to a round brush and that's going to change up the way the paint looks on my page of course fill your page could be anything it could be doodles it could be collage you could take it in any direction you wanted to So for this prompt I would suggest having a look at your page and seeing if there's anything you can change the size of. Maybe for you it's just a change of the size of the brush that you're going to do or maybe you've been adding lots of large elements and you're going to start putting on some small elements and vice versa. If you've been doodling on your page then what does a size change mean for you? For me I'm going to interpret this as changing the size of the marks that I'm using so far the marks that are, that are jumping out at me on this page, the ones that are really sort of there for me, have been quite large, so I'm going to go for smaller marks now. time for a change up of materials I've been using a lot of paint all the way through this so I thought what I would do next is use a water reactive pencil I quite like bringing in water reactive pencils and I've got this ink tense pencil which is perfect for this I really love that indigo color it's going to go really well with the indigo paint that I've already got on here so first I'm going to just draw in some doodling and then I will add some water to that line as well and as soon as I add water it will change up the look 
and I really wasn't sure where this page was going to go when I started it but I fell in love with the colours pretty early on and that's kind of where the colour combo came into its own and the colour prompt became quite prominent <laughs> at the beginning of this art flow. So I hope you're having fun exploring the colours that you started off with. Have they changed? Have you, as you've sort of progressed through, changed up your colour combo? I'd love to know. Wow, okay, so not so much a technical prompt, which we're kind of used to in these videos, but more of an inspiration prompt. I'm not so good at the inspirational prompts, I have to admit, but I used this one because what I did next, I did have to be brave about. I loved how this page looked, but it just wasn't, it wasn't finished and I needed something else, but I didn't know what. So I took a risk and added in some painted circles. They end up covering some of the things that I love about this page, but I don't lose anything because I think I gained more from adding the circles in. So that for this prompt, you might have to look at your piece and take an art leap of faith and be brave about it. Perhaps you need to add a focal image or cover some of the bits that you've been enjoying up. Or perhaps being brave for you and your page is to say it's done. Whatever decision you have to make with this prompt, I know you can do it. And I'm totally with you. It's all part of this art journal experience. It's all part of what we have to do when we're making art. But remember, you know, if it goes pants, <laughs> there's always another page. It really doesn't matter. But it's always better to give it a go, especially in your art journal, your junk journal. Go on, just go for it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But you'll learn so much from it. Okay, so I'm quite happy how my circles ended up. I'm glad I made that leap. So I just added in some definition with my ink tense pencils again and added some water.
So let me know how you get on with the prompts. Share your results with me on Instagram by tagging me in so I can come and have a look. I would love to see what colours you've used and where you took them, so do share. I have more art prompts and mixed media art ideas and inspiration to help you to fill your art journals, your junk journals. So watch these next and I'll see you over there. <laughs>